we go. Question one. You have a rectangle that has side lengths of 4x squared minus 3. So yeah, 4x squared minus 3 and 12x plus 8. What is the area? So to find the area of a rectangle, you have to multiply. Well, I've already stored 2 to x. And now we're just going to multiply this in the calculator. 12x plus 8. So I type that in, and when x is 2, it's going to give me an area of 416. So I need to match up which answer choice is going to give me 416. So let's type in a 48x to the third. And then you have plus 32x squared minus 36x minus 24. You enter, you get 416. Your answer is a. So now you have a rectangle that has an area of x squared minus 15x plus 36. And they give you a side length is x minus 12. They want to know what is this missing side length here? So we need to find which one of these answer choices that we can plug in right here and multiply it times x minus 12 and it gives me an area. So we already have two stored to x. Let's find out what our area is. x squared minus 15x plus 36. So I get a number of 10. So now what you need to do is you need to figure out what can I plug in right here from these answers and multiply it times x minus 12, that's gonna give me an answer of 10. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the answer. So I'm gonna do x minus 12 times, let's look at letter B here, x minus three, x minus three. And when I hit enter, notice I get 10, so that is the missing side length. This actually in, would be my recommendation here was to make sure that you put parentheses around this guy at the end, because if you don't, you're gonna get answer not given. Or you could have made it into a fraction. I'm surprised you guys didn't see plus 10x, all of that divided by 10x. Let's just write it as a, let's write it as a fraction, see what happens here. So let's type it in 50x to the third minus 60x squared plus 10x. All of that divided by 10x. We get an answer, uh, an output of nine. So we need to match up which one's gonna give me an output of nine. I'm gonna go straight to the answer here. Watch what happens when we type in five x squared minus six x plus one. And I get an answer of nine. Now you'll notice that I put parentheses right here around this guy. If you type this in, in the calculator, remember I told you guys with polynomials, you need to put parentheses around those. So you would have to, you could type it in like you see it, five x raised to the third minus 60x squared plus 10x divided by parentheses 10x. And let's see if we get an output of nine. We do, so we know our answer is B. Question four just says simplify, so we're just gonna type it in the calculator, 2x plus four times x minus three. I've already stored two to x in previous problems, so I get an output of negative eight. We need to see which one's gonna give me an output of negative eight. We'll just go right to the answer. Let's look at letter A, two x squared minus two x minus 12. It gives me an output of negative eight, so my answer is A. Okay, number five, same thing as number four, just says simplify. We're just gonna type it in the calculator, four x squared minus two x, and then x minus five. We get an output of negative 36. We're gonna go straight to the answer because of time, or x to the third minus 22x squared plus 10x. And I get an output of negative 36, the answer is B. Number six, do not do two squared is four and x squared is x squared and five squared is 25. You'll get that wrong. You need to type it in the calculator. So let's do that, two x plus five squared to give me an output of 81. I need to match up which answer choice is going to give me an output of 81. We're going to go right to the answer, letter C. So when I type in letter C plus 20x plus 25, I get an output of 81. In fact, that means 2x plus 5 times itself. 2x plus 5. That's also the same thing. And you would have to do your multi-distribution property if you wanted to do that on paper. But simplified it with the calculator. All right, number seven, simplify. So this, don't have to do anything, but just type some buttons in. We've already had 
x stored with 2, so we're just going to type in x squared, maybe. Let's try this again. x squared minus 2x minus 48 divided by parentheses divided by parentheses x plus 6. And we're going to get an output of negative 6. So I need a matchup. Which one's going to give me an output of negative 6? Let's go right to the answer of B. Let's type in x minus 8 see if it gives me that. Boop, and it does. So my answer is B. And the last one, just simplify. X is already 2, so let's type in x squared plus 9x plus 18. Close the parentheses, divided by x plus 3. We get an output of 8. So we need to match up which one's going to give me an output of 8. So let's go right to the answer of A. If I type in x plus 6 and I hit enter, I get an output of 8. My answer is A.